Welcome to today's painting tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to paint some dark aspen leaves in a vase. So let's start with a size six filbert brush. And let's start with some darker tones in the vase. So we can go with a dark brown. You can use a raw umber. Here I have a Van Dyke brown. And let's just pop that in along the bottom of the vase. And that's just going to be a dark shadow. And you can put it down with just one stroke if you would like. And then there's another shadow along the top of the vase. So just push your brush down and lift up. Again, working in one stroke would be great. And then there's a shadow over here. And then a shadow on this side. So we're working with these really rich, beautiful brown and amber colors today, which is perfect for fall. And the bottom of the vase is going to be a lighter shade that's a little bit more yellow. So we'll use this yellow ochre. And then let's just pop that in along the bottom. I'm so glad that you're taking the time to paint today. It's a really good way to relax and just kind of refocus for the new season. Okay, and then we'll take a burnt sienna. Looks like I'm getting a little bit low on that paint, so I'm going to need to refill. But let's put that burnt sienna on the other parts of the vase. So we'll put it along the top. And then we'll add it to this part here. And I want to kind of water it down a little bit because I want this highlight to show on the vase. So you can really use quite a bit of water. Just kind of blend that in. And it's kind of like a watercolor effect where you're using the white of the paper to create a highlight and to really shine through in your work. And it's okay if it overlaps um, the other colors. And then you can just kind of do a little bit of blending. Just because acrylic dries so fast, it can be tricky to blend if you don't start off right away. All right, so that's looking good. So now let's move on to the leaves. And we can grab a larger brush for that. So I'm going to use a size 9 filbert. And we're going to try to mix up a dark shade of um, plum or kind of maroon. So to do that, we can take a little bit of a magenta color and then see if you have like a Payne's gray. Mix that together and see if that gives you a dark purple color. And that could be a good color to start with. So let's go along the leaves. And just use the tip of the brush for the tip of the leaf and then push down, kind of swirl the brush around and see if you can make these shapes that you paint or that you sketched out. And you might have to move your brush and move your hand or even move your paper if you're able to. Just kind of fan it around. Okay, and we might use some of these cooler colors kind of in the back because as we know with our perspective, atmospheric perspective, that the cooler colors recede and the warmer colors come forward. So we can kind of put these purplish colors more towards the back. And then to brighten it up, we could take some of this orangey red color. That's just my orange red shade. And let's put that in. Let's kind of do some testing as we go along so that we have colors that we like. So that made it quite a bit more brown. Let's add a little bit more of this Payne's Gray, which has that blue undertone. And then take a little bit more of that red. And then see how those colors are mixing. That's a little bit more of a brownish purple, which I do like. So then we'll just keep 
with this brush and kind of push down and make a beautiful leaf shape. So push down, and do it on the other side. Then go to the point, push down. Okay, and just try to have fun with this. Relax, don't take it too seriously. It's the whole idea of painting is just to have fun. Okay, so that looks like a nice base color for the leaves. And I actually want to make them just a little bit darker. So for the next um, layer, we could add maybe some more Payne's Gray, with a little bit of magenta. And then let's put that in. Just go along and add a second layer to your leaves. And you could put, if you wanted to do some shadows or shading, you could put the darker value just on one side of the leaf or more towards the bottom of the leaf or any part that you think might be in the shadow. Okay. And then let's add, I want to do more of a maroon color. So let's take some brown. This is just a that Van Dyke brown. And let's mix that with some magenta. And see if we get a maroon. Okay, and I'm just going to put that on there. Let's see what it does. So this is a lot of experimenting, so it's not really changing the color on top of that purple. That's okay, but you can see where it does show up a little bit. It's kind of giving some dimension and some variety to the piece, so I like that. Okay, and let's mix a lighter shade. So what if I take that color and mix a little bit of titanium white in there? And then see if this could be kind of a mid-tone. And we'll put that on some of the leaves where we want to put a highlight. So wherever that light is kind of showing through, you can just put that lighter value. Okay, and then let's actually, let's take some titanium white and put a smaller little highlight on some of these leaves. So you can just go straight in with the titanium white Kind of do some wet on wet blending into the paint right on the paper as you go. All right. Okay, so I like the way the leaves look. And now let's work on the branches. So for that, I'm going to take a size zero liner brush. This is one of the best brushes to create stems and um, really fine lines. So I'm going to take that Payne's Gray and mix it up with a little bit of that purple. And then roll the brush. That's how you load this brush with the paint. You want to have quite a bit of paint on it. And then let's just pull down that paint going along the lines of the sketch. And we're going straight down into the vase as well. Just start at the top of the leaf and connect it towards the branch. That's just going to tie everything together. And we're using this nice dark color because that's kind of the shadow. And you can see I just brought it all the way down. Okay, and this nice delicate work. And then you can clean up your lines if you have any lines showing through. Okay, so then 
It's just about finished. At this point, you could take a little more Payne's Gray, roll that brush, and you could add some veins to the leaves. You could add some detail to them. Maybe carefully put a little bit of sideways, sideways lines onto those leaves just to add some detail. Okay, and then I would probably want to finish the vase really quickly. You could do a little bit of white and some of this yellow ochre to make a nice kind of beige color. You might put that in the vase um, just to kind of give it another layer and bring some of those colors together. And then I would take a titanium white and just pop in a little highlight there. And that's going to be right where the light is kind of shining through. And then if you had to go back and kind of rebalance your darks, just take a darker color and go back over your dark points just to kind of rebalance that a little bit. And blend in as well. Okay, so we're going to call this project complete. This is just a nice relaxing fall painting that you can do. So I hope you take some time out of your busy schedule to do some painting. I hope you have fun and we'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.